The Senate on Thursday failed to pass a pared-down coronavirus relief bill introduced this week by Senate Republicans, with both Democrats and the GOP accusing each other of political maneuvering at the cost of providing critical relief to Americans. With the latest effort now dead in the water, it's not clear whether there will be any more federal coronavirus relief anytime soon. $300 billion. That's how much new spending the GOP bill would have appropriated. Another $350 billion in spending in the bill would have be repurposed from unspent CARES Act appropriations. Democrats, who in May passed their $3 trillion opening proposal for the next relief bill, have said they won't support any new legislation worth less than about $2 trillion. The White House has previously indicated it would support a bill worth $1.5 trillion. There's no indication that bipartisan talks are scheduled to start up again soon, according to The Washington Post. The Trump administration has reached a preliminary agreement with Democrats to fund the government beyond the September 30 deadline, and it's looking increasingly likely that any more conversations about economic relief might be put on pause until after the November election. Republican, skinny, stimulus bill, headed for a vote, here's what's in it. And what's not Forbes, Mike Pence says the White House still wants to send second stimulus checks, Forbes, Schumer slams skinny GOP stimulus bill, urges Democrats to stick together as Washington remains deadlocked, Forbes, economy needs at least $1.3 trillion in new stimulus to sustain recovery, Bridgewater CIO says Forbes.